now in the second session one the first point and the very important point that is any finite quantity any finite quantity by infinity is equal to zero always remember very important for that we will take one example some examples we will take limit x tends to infinity sin x by x in the place of applying infinite sin infinity by infinity everyone they know sin in the place of infinity means take any value between minus infinity to plus infinity that is the meaning that means uh, the graph that means the range of sin is minus 1 to plus 1 that means in the place of sin infinity you can take closed interval minus 1 comma 1 by infinity this is a finite quantity that's why finite quantity by infinity is always equal to zero one more example limit x tends to infinite cos x by x cos x by x that is also cos infinity by infinity that is equal to Closed interval minus 1 comma 1 by infinity which is equal to 0 and one more one more example last example limit extends to infinity sin square x sin square x by x it is then this one also sin square infinity sin square infinity by infinity this one is also 0 to 1 not getting negative value because of square we have that's why it is getting 0 to 1 only this is also equal to 0 this is for uh, most important remember next one okay see how to calculate limit this is one of the point how to calculate limit Now the important point it is limit x tends to a f of x. This can be defined by two ways f of a is f of a is indeterminate form. Of a is indeterminate, then use then use method of evaluating limit method of evaluating. Okay, next one. Another second one. F of A is determined. F of A is determined. Then use the method. Use the method LHL. 
the means in the place of x, a x is equal to a minus h r h l. That means in the place of x, a plus h. When, therefore, therefore, here only, only can check LHL is equal to RHL then limit exist LHL not equal to RHL limit not exist limit not exist ok so this is one of the point ok then calculate for limit algebraic indeterminate form so in the first one is first one For 0 by 0 form, for 0 by 0 form, okay, for this one, we have some cases. This is also use rationalize or double rationalize or take a factorization or binomial approximation or elastical rule for finding factors and canceling them. These are the steps. Let us take some problems. We we'll take some problems. Okay. Uh, example first one. First question. Limit extends to five. Root x minus one minus two by x minus five. Check it here first of all in the place of i you apply in the place of x you apply 5 then what is what is the result root over 5 minus 1 minus 2 by 5 minus 5 root 4 we get root 4 means 2 minus 2 by 0 that means 0 by 0 form we get when we get 0 by 0 form that is the indeterminate form when we get indeterminate form, then use some conditions. Check here already given rationalize or double rationalize or factorization or binomial approximation or elastical rule or finding factors. Here for simplification, I am taking limit extends to 5 root over x minus 1 minus 2 by x minus 5. I am doing rationalize for this one using rationalize using numerator root over x minus 1 minus 5 plus 2 by root over x minus 1 plus 2. Then you can simplify that limit extends to 5 x minus 1 whole square a minus b into a plus b formula it is a square minus b square then square and root will get cancelled and x minus 5 into root over x minus 1 plus 2 minus. Okay. Then solve this one. Limit x minus x tends to 5. x minus 1 minus 4 by x minus 5 into 1 by root x minus 1 plus 2. 
here you check it this is x minus y here also x minus y both are get cancelled then the remaining value is limit extends to 5 1 by root over x minus 1 plus 2 here then now check here is there any possibilities of in the place of x 5 you get different uh, value or uh, in determined form check it once okay then in the place of x apply 5 1 by root over 5 minus 1 plus 2 that is equal to 1 by 4 4 root over 4 means 2 2 plus 2 it is 4 it is right next another one one more example second question Limit extends to zero. Root over x square plus one minus one by root over x square plus sixteen minus four. Here also you check it in the place of x zero. Root one minus one it is zero. zero root over 1 sorry 0 plus 16 it is root 16 root 16 means 4 it is 4 minus 4 also it is a result is 0 0 by 0 form 0 by 0 form then also it is a determinant form then you can do rationalize but in the numerator and denominator both we have the rules then do double rationalize here do Double rationalize. Remember, when we get in the numerator and denominator, both sides, both sides, we have the root. Then take double rationalize. Then limit extends to zero. Root over x square plus one minus one by root over x square plus sixteen minus four. By using numerator, I am doing the rational line. X square plus 1 plus 1 by root over x square plus 1 plus 1. Another rational line by using denominator root over x square plus 16 minus 4, sorry, plus 4 by root over x square plus 16 plus 4 degrees. Then, limit x tends to 0 x square plus 1 minus 1 by x square plus 16 minus 4. Here you check this one and this one I am multiplying and this one and this one I am multiplying then what is the remaining values in the numerator x square plus 16 plus 4 by in the denominator root over x square plus 1 plus 1 equals then limit x tends to 0 plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled here here uh, I remember I uh, forgot uh, my mistake, it is 16. Then in x square plus 1 minus 1 by x square plus 16 and minus 16 both are cancelled into limit x tends to 0 root over x square plus 16 plus 4 by root over x square plus 1 and plus 1 is from the left we can it is x square by x square it is 0 it is this one is 0 and this one is 0 then x square and x square both are cancelled then the remaining value this is only here in the place of x apply 0 it is then automatically root 16 root 16 means 4 plus 4 it is in the numerator it is 1 plus 1
מדיינית. את הגייט ווי טו נמצא, כי זה יהיה פור. זה מה אני זה. פור. אוקיי. אני אקריא פה עוד מורה פרובלום. You will do it yourself. Just apply it once. If you're getting very good. Otherwise, uh, I will teach you later. One more, one more marker or whatever it is. Just like you said. Limit. Which tends to zero. Root over x plus a. Minus x root x. Right? Here, uh, do one thing. Just one rationalize one. Here, answer is answer 1 by 2 root x. Just try it once. 1 by 2 root x it is. Right? Next. Next one. Factorize. Factorization. Factorize. If question is given in the quadratic or cubic polynomial, then try to factorize. and cut same quantity in numerator and denominator then put limit this is first one is what is the first one algebraic form in that uh, uh, rationalize we are doing we are doing only just rationalize or double rationalize second one is the factorization ok in this factorization when we are using this factorization that is main point when we are using factorization. Here I am given already in the question quadratic or cubic polynomial then try to factorize and cut, cut same quantity in your greater and denominator then put limit. We will take some examples. Okay. One example, first example. Link x tends to 2 x squared minus 3x plus 2 by x squared minus 5x plus 6. Apply in the place of 2. Automatically 2 means 4 it is 4 plus 2 6. This is 4 to the 6 plus 6 minus 6 cancel it is 0. In the denominator of 4, 4 plus 2 it is 8, sorry, 4 plus 6, 10, here also minus 10, plus 10 and minus 10 get cancelled, so it is equal to 0 it is, so it is also 0 by 0 form, then, then, take factorization, take a factorization, here check it. For the numerator, the factors are x minus 2 and x minus 1 it is. Already even they know how to factors, how to take the factors. Okay. And in denominator, x minus 2 into x minus 3 are the factors. Then x minus 2, x minus 2 will be cancelled. Then the remaining value limit x tends to 2. x minus 1 by x minus 3 which is equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 3. Then, 1 by minus 1, the result is a minus 1, it is. Okay. Then, another one. Uh, let me uh, check it once. Uh, limit. X tends to 1. 2x plus 3 into root x minus 1 it is by x square sorry 2x square minus 5x plus 3 then how to simplify this one see here 
in the place of one applied, one minus one it is zero, zero into something it is zero. Here also one applied, two, two plus three, five, minus five plus five cancel, both are get is equal to zero by zero form. Then it is in determinant form. So we can move to factors, to the factors. Okay. For the denominator, we have the one quadratic already in numerators, we have the factors already. Denominator factors are limited. X tends to 1. 2x plus 3 by root x minus 1 by denominator factors are x minus 1 into 2x minus 3. Okay, so here I remember some important point it is uh, that a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b. Okay, this is already a one number. Now I am taking x minus y is equal to root x minus y whole square minus root y minus root y whole square which is equal to root x minus root y into root x plus root y is it ok this is x minus y is plus Okay, now here what do we have? x minus 1 is equal to root x minus 1 into root x plus 1. You can write like that. So then automatically this one and this one both are cancelling. The, the, in this case, uh, we have limit x tends to 1. 2x plus 3 by root x plus 1 into 2x minus 3 it is. Okay, now in the place of x apply 1, then what we get? 2 plus 3 by 1 plus 1, 2 into 2 minus 3. Then it is a 5 in the numerator, denominator we have minus 2. So result is a minus 5 by 2. Okay, one more example, one more also. That is question number 3, I think. Question number 3. Limit. x tends to tan inverse of 3 x tends to tan inverse of 3 tan square x minus 2 tan x minus 3 by tan square x minus 4 tan x plus 3 this is a question here remember one thing limit is different here limit extends to tan inverse of 3 it is this can be written by limit tan x tends to 3 tan x tends to 3 here tan square x can be written by let here also write like tan square x minus 2 tan x minus 3 by tan square x minus 4 tan x plus 3. Let us take tan x is equal to t. Then 
t square minus 2t minus 3. This is the numerator. And the denominator is t square minus 4t plus 3t. For this one, the factors are t minus 3 into t plus 1. For this one, the factors are t minus 3 into t minus 1. Okay. So, this can be written by a limit. t tends to 3. t minus 3 into t plus 1 by t minus 3 into t minus 1. Total cancel. Then the remaining value is limit t tends to 3 t plus 1 by t minus 1. Apply in the place of t 3 4 by 2. The result is 2 t. Okay. Right. Remember here one note it is that is Limit x tends to 3 f of x, which can be written by limit x minus 3 tends to 0 of f of x. Right? It's also one of the important points. Remember that. Okay. Next, one more, one more example, this is very important, and uh, the nice problem it is, so number 4 I think, fourth question, you need it. x tends to 2a, root over x minus 2a plus plus root x minus root 2a by root over x square minus 4a square. This is the question. What to do here? Limit x tends to 2a root x minus 2a as this plus here this is the one value. Then how to simplify here? Right? Then the denominator it is root over x minus 2a into root over x plus 2a you can write this can minus this square formula just now we are taken as uh, x minus y is equal to root x minus root y into root x plus root y just now we are taken this square minus this square formula now I want root x minus root y is equal to x minus y by root x plus root y. Okay, now in the place of this one, x minus 2a by root x plus root 2a. Okay, now we we'll take care a root x minus 2a taking comma a limit x tends to 2a from the numerator x minus 2a root over taking outside remaining 1 plus root over x minus 2a by root x plus root 
टू ये ओल्ड डिवाइडेड बाय रूट एक्स माइनस टू ये इनके रूट एक्स प्लस बोथ आर कैंसल नाउ इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स अप्लाई टू ये देन इट इज अ जीरो नोमिनेटर इज ओनली वन वी हैव वन प्लस जीरो इज The denominator 2a plus 2a 4a t is that is equal to 1 by 4 ta. Okay. So you just remember one thing. Almost, almost for limit when we get indeterminate, almost we can solve by using logical rule. This is also up to now what we have done. Those problems also we can solve by using logical rule. What is the logical rule? For solving logical rule, we need we need some formulas from the differentiation. Okay, okay. Uh, without uh, using differentiation, also we can solve. Okay. Binomial approximation. Next one is binomial approximation. Binomial approximation. This is the third one. First one is. Uh, By using rationalize, single rationalize, and the double rationalize. Second one is uh, factorization. Now third one is uh, binomial approximation. So for this one, we need some formulas for binomial approximation. That is, already we know one plus x whole power n binomial exponential. Somebody did not know. Because of uh, some first year to uh, board exams, uh, second year uh, binomial theorem is there. Some eleventh and twelfth standards they have in first year. Maybe uh, so somebody they know, somebody they don't know. One plus x whole power n binomial expansion. Just I will I will show it here. N C zero plus N C one x plus N C two x square plus N C three x cube plus also N C r x power r plus also N C n x power n. Like that, we have one more formula for one minus x whole power n. We get all the way to plus or minus n. N C zero minus N C one x plus N C two x square minus N C three x cube plus also r minus one whole power r into N C r. X power r plus r so r minus one whole power y into n c n x power n. Here we from this one we are taking only this one. So we we need this one. Here one one plus x whole power y. Z equal to n c zero value one and c one n one value n it is one plus n x. Suppose we have one minus x whole power n it is then one minus n x. Okay. By using these two conditions, by using these two conditions, we are solving that. Okay. I'll show one some examples. Example one. Limit x tends to one. Thirteen. Root x minus seventh root x by 
fifth root x minus a cube root x. Here apply in the place of x is equal to 1. This is also we are getting 0 by 0 form. It is also 0 by 0 form only. Okay. Then here you take, uh, if you take here, you can take x is equal to 1 plus h or 1 minus h. In the place of x, 1 plus h or 1 minus h. If you take any one, we are getting same value, not a problem for that. I will take here 1 plus h. So, limit h tends to 0, 1 plus h whole power 1 by 30 minus 1 plus h whole power 1 by 7 whole divided by 1 plus x whole power 1 by 5 minus 1 plus h whole power 1 by 3. Here now apply binomial expansion formula in which tends to 0 plus h by 30 minus 1 minus h by 7 whole divided by 1 plus so maybe it is h by 5 minus 1 minus h by 3 now, 1, 1, both are cancelled. From the numerator and denominator, take h power 1. Limit h tends to 0. It's taken outside. Then 1 by 13 minus 1 by 7. From the denominator, also take h outside. 1 by 5 minus 1 by so, the result is the numerator 13 to 7. The 7 is the best of the denominator 15 to the minus 5. Okay, so we can solve the exam value. Okay, so one more problem. For phenomenal expansion, limit x tends to minus 1 cube root of 7 minus x minus 2 by x plus 1. Okay. So here also I am going to take it x is equal to minus 1 plus x. So what to do here? Limit x tends to minus 1. 7 minus half minus 1 plus h. Whole power 1 by 3. Minus 2. 5. Minus 1 plus h plus 1. Okay, now limit h to the x. Okay, here h tends to 0. h tends to 0. So it is 8 plus h power 1 by 3 minus 2 by h. Limit h tends to 0 8 plus h by 3 minus k ok by h here what we 
It tends to zero. Six plus eight by three by eight. Taking it outside, limit it tends to zero. Six by eight plus one by three. We might run it in another group of other cats. The place of which is zero. Then it is uh, here in the market. Yeah. Limit which tends to zero, taking eight outside, then it is getting eight or one by three, that is two, it is one plus eight by eight whole power by three minus two by eight. Okay, now limit. Which tends to zero to take outside one plus eight by eight into three one plus one by eight minus one and plus one both are cancel. Yeah. Limit which tends to zero. 2 into 8 by 24 into 4 by 10 and that is 1 by 12. It's for that. We are going to take that. Okay, and uh, one more, one more problem will do. Then we get some clarity. Okay. 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 Limit extends to zero. Cube root of one plus x cube minus four root of one minus two x four root of one minus two x all divided by x plus x. Here we'll do anything. 
and limit extends to zero one plus x cube whole power one by three minus one minus two x whole power one by four from the your denominator take x outside it is one plus x okay now this can be written by limit expands to zero one plus x two by three minus one minus two x by four all divided by x into one plus x. This can be written by limit x tends to zero. These both one one cancel. Remaining x two by three plus uh, x by two. Here it is x into one plus x. Right now in the place of Let's take outside. So square by two plus one by two. Three it is, and uh, x into one plus x. The x is cancel. Now in the place of x apply zero. So zero plus one by two by two one plus three. This is equal to one by two. 